Hi, in this lesson we will learn how to search in a form using a list box. For example, in this form, if I click in any list items, I can read the staff member data directly on the form. We will delete this form and let's start from scratch. In this sample database, we have only one table with 15 staff members. I will create a form using this table to display the whole information. Then I will define the design, adding a list box to the form. This list box will using the value from the table HR displaying the ID and the employee name. ID is the primary key. I will hide the ID so I don't need the ID to be displayed in the list. It's fair enough to display the names. So now we have exactly the same form that we start with but with no action. So if I display this form I can use the staff member's name here but when I select a name nothing will happen. So we need to add an action to the list item. So from property sheet, uh, of course I can change the name for the list. Let's say, let's say something like info list. In real case scenario, you have to do so. Because uh, after creating three or four forms, you'll find many lists around your database. So you have to define the name for each list. Anyway, for this list, the event will be after update after the user select a new value what we're going to do actually is searching for a record using the information coming from the list box so we will use do command search for record because i'm going to search in the same data form so i will ignore the first choice then i need the object name it is the, the current or the active data object so i'm going to ignore this one the record is ac first the first record that met the criteria here we go to the where condition here is the track in the list we can read the name but as you remember the list is consisted from id and name so my condition actually will use the id so id is the name of the field in my table so if the id equal apprehend me dot info list dot column zero my list takes two information id and name and the list is arranged in columns the first column is column z the first column in this case is the id so i'm going to take the id then uh, upper, uh, two code to close the dynamic part and two code to close the ID. So here we have two code to code. Now our search list is supposed to work, as you can see. Actually, here we have two column, ID and name. ID is column zero. You choose to hide the ID, but it's still there. So when I select this staff member, actually, I select this number, then I tilt the X, the axis, to search for this ID in the form. That's it. 